Hello, OLV Nursery Classes. I have a really nice story I'd like to share with you today. It is called Ridiculous. And it's by Michael Coleman, and the pictures are by Gwyneth Williamson. It's about a tortoise. Do you know the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? Well, when I read this book, I did a little research and I found out that tortoises generally have very high rounded shells. Turtle's shells are a little flatter and tortoises spend much of their time on land while turtles spend much of their time in the water. And I'm sure there's lots of other differences, but I'll leave you to research that. Let's get to this book, Ridiculous, by Michael Coleman. Ho hum, yawned Mr. Tortoise, winter is here. So it is, yawned Mrs. Tortoise. Come on, Shelley, time for bed. But I don't feel sleepy yet, said Shelley. Time for them to hibernate. Ridiculous, cried Mr. Tortoise. All tortoises go to sleep for the winter. Why, asked Shelley. Because it's cold outside and there's no food. But I don't want to go to sleep, said Shelley. I want to see what winter is like. Ridiculous, cried Mr. and Mrs. Tortoise together. Who ever heard of a tortoise outside in winter? Soon, Mr. Tortoise began to snore. And not long after that, Mrs. Tortoise began to snore. And not long after that, Shelley left her warm bed of leaves and out she went through a hole in the shed to see what winter was like. Outside the shed, Shelley blinked. There was snow and ice everywhere, even on the duck pond and the hill. As she lumbered along, a duck spotted her. A tortoise out in winter, quacked the duck. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelley. Oh, no? Then let's see you break through the ice to get food like I can. Ha, quack, ha. He's right, thought Shelley. I can't do that. I don't have a beak. As Shelley began to walk up the hill, she met a dog. A tortoise out in winter, barked the dog. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelley, feeling a little cross. Oh, no? Then let's see you keep warm by running around like I can. Huh? Woof! Huh? <laughs> He's right, thought Shelley sadly. I can't do that either. The dog ran off after a cat, but the cat climbed up a tree. She looked down at Shelley. A tortoise out in winter, mewed the cat. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, said Shelley, even more crossly. Oh, no. Then let's see you run into a nice warm house as quickly as I can. Huh? Meow. Huh? She's right, thought Shelley, shivering with cold. I can't run like a dog or a cat. I'm just too slow.
the cat raced off into her house before the dog could catch her, and Shelley trudged toward the top of a hill where she met a bird. A tortoise out in winter cheap the bird. Ridiculous. No, it isn't, snapped Shelley. Oh no, then let's see you fly home and cuddle up with your family like I can. Ha, huh? cheap, ha. Huh? Of course I can't fly, thought Shelley. I can't even hop. Shelley felt cold and miserable. She remembered her warm, cozy bed and a tear trickled down her cheek. They're all right, she thought. A tortoise out in winter is ridiculous. She was so sad, she didn't notice the big patch of ice ahead and she slipped on it. Shelley fell over backward and began to slide down the hill. Faster and faster she went. Faster than a dog could run, faster than a cat, until suddenly she hit a bump and flew into the air like a bird. <laughs> Wee! With a thump, Shelly landed on the icy duck pond and slid toward the hole in the shed, but it was all covered up with ice. Ha! Quack! Ha! What did I say, cried the duck as she slid by him. Where's your beak to break the ice with? I don't have a beak, said Shelley. But I do have... A shell. <laughs> and tucking her head inside it, she broke through the ice into her shed and home. Hearing all the noise, Mrs. Tortoise woke up. You haven't been outside, have you, Shelley? she asked. A tortoise out in winter, said Shelly, snuggling into bed. And before she could say, ridiculous, she was fast asleep. <laughs> the End Ridiculous by Michael Coleman Oh, that's a very funny story of a tortoise who's supposed to be hibernating. Okay, OLD nursery classes, I'll see you soon. Thank you.